my name is Dr. Richard Harris. I'm an internal medicine physician and pharmacist and clinical advisor to CBD Health Collection. And today we're going to talk about a really interesting study on CBD. And the title of this study is Cannabidol has a unique effect on global brain activity, a pharmacological functional MRI study in awake mice. So it's basically a study where they gave mice CBD and then took MRIs of the brains to see what happens. And we know that CBD has anti-anxiety properties, it reduces the nervous system's response to stress, and it actually interferes with consolidation and extinction of fearful memories. What this means is that it impairs the quote-unquote memory of a fearful event even after they pass. So even if we don't remember something, our brain can remember it, and it, it can elicit an exaggerated response the next time we encounter something similar to that event or reminders of that event. And this type of processing has been implicated in autism, in anxiety, in PTSD, and psychosis, which is why CBD is being studied or has been studied in a lot of these different conditions to help with them. So CBD works by increasing or decreasing certain mediators in the brain in specific environments. And we're gonna get into that more in a minute. And so this study looked at MRIs and they tracked changes in blood oxygen level. And this is what we call bold. And so we look at this type of MRI when we want to track changes in blood flow to certain areas of the brain. And we use the changes in blood flow as a surrogate for metabolic activity. When the brain needs to do more processing, it increases blood flow to that area. When it does less processing, it decreases it. And so this is a way that you can look at activity of certain areas in the brain. And so this study was to look at the effects of different doses upon brain activity in mice with CBD. We're not going to really talk about the different doses because they use data on dosing studies in mice that doesn't really correlate that well with humans. But the basic physiology and biology is still interesting. They predicted that a certain doses would decrease the bold and the neural circuits related to anxiety. The product that they used did have some THC in it. It was about 25 to 1 CBD to THC. So CBD caused activation in the prefrontal cortex. The prefrontal cortex is the area of our brain that deals with decision making, executive function, and deactivation in the brainstem and cerebellum, especially in the area associated with something called the ascending reticular activating system or ARAS or ARAS and ARAS is involved in wakefulness but it's also involved in the stress response so when we get signaling through ARAS it goes to areas of our brain like the amygdala like certain areas in the limbic system and this is involved with the acute stress response and then that connects to the hippocampus and other memory centers where we encode and consolidate fear and stressful memories. What CBD actually did was it, it uncoupled the hindbrain and midbrain areas related to ARAS. And I think that's really, really interesting. There was an increased actual activity and increased coupling in the areas associated with that reticular activating system that had levels of an enzyme called NAPE PLD. And NAPE PLD is responsible for generating anandamide. Anandamide is another cannabinoid. It is an, a cannabinoid that our body makes. It's one of our natural cannabinoids. And that is really interesting because the CBD actually seemed to improve the natural processing of anandamide in the mice. Now, human imaging studies show that CBD increases blood flow in the cingulate cortex and reduces flow in the hippocampus during anxiety. What does this mean? The cingulate cortex is important for cognitive decision making, especially when information is conflicting and it helps determine pain perception and other nervous system responses. That sounds like it would be something that's very important during stressful situations, and it is. In fact, Previous research shows that greater activation in the cingulate cortex is associated with conflict monitoring, decision making, self-reflective capacity, and empathy. All of these things would be very important when we're under stressful situations to make sure that we handle that stress in the appropriate manner. 
CBD also decreased activation in the cerebellum, anterior cingulate, amygdala, and visual fear experiences. Now, these are areas of the brain that are going to be activated in response to fearful stimuli and do certain things that elicit a fear response. And this is really interesting that CBD toned that down in a fearful experience, but not at baseline. And this is one of the reasons why we in holistic medicine love CBD, because it really is a balancing agent. We call this homeostasis. That's a fancy term for balance. And CBD exerts its best effect when it needs to. It's like that high performance athlete. CBD raises its game when it's needed. And that's really interesting. And that's one of the reasons why we love it and why it has such a safety profile that it does because it's really working and really doing what it needs to do to bring us back into balance. CBD enhances frontal striatal, caudate, and hippocampal activation during salience processing. This is during the type of processing where we're looking at information that's relevant, information that is necessary, and it actually improves auditory and visual processing during resting states. So CBD decreased fear processing in fearful states, but not during resting states, and it increased normal memory processing during resting states. That's why it's such a very cool agent. I sound like a huge nerd because I am. This stuff is really cool to me. They also found that the changes in signaling occurred within 10 minutes after injection were back to the mice. It's likely slower with oral absorption. Back to the balancing, the homeostatic impact of CBD. Acute and chronic dosing of CBD in animals and humans has no effect on blood pressure, heart rate, or blood flow. But during stressful states, CBD blunts the increase in heart rate and blood pressure in situations of forced immobilization, literally holding someone hostage or a hostage-like situation. That's a very stressful situation. And then it decreased the response to memory of an adverse condition. This is the things we see in anxiety states and PTSD where you get a heightened response even in anticipation of something fearful or stressful. CBD has been shown in animals to reduce the immobility, that freezing response to fearful events. And one thing that was interesting that was noted in the study is that CBD activates our olfactory, our smelling systems. And the authors hypothesized that this was due to when you're in a stressful situation, this activates so that you could improve your smell and therefore be able to more readily detect predators during stressful or life-threatening times. So this is a really interesting study. I wanted to come in and talk to you about this study just to show you some of the reasons why we love CBD, why it's such a powerful balancing agent, and why CBD is recommended by a lot of us and taken by a lot of people for its calming effect.